months later, and you qualify now to go to attack training. And in South Africa, your status is judged on how vicious your dog is. So there I go with Miro, and what they do for attack training, they have 50 of his dogs in a line, and some maniac with stuff around his arm runs up and down there, <laughs> pointing a stick at the dogs, shoving it in their faces, and they then go to try and kill him. <laughs> so there he was, and he came up to my gentle Nero and stuck the stick in his face, and Nero went. <laughs> now, this didn't go down too well, so he started giving him this on the head. Nero looked up at me, and off we went. Back again the next week, up and down there, the dogs waiting to tear him apart, back to Nero, and once again. The guy starts whacking him on the head there. And Nero looks up at me as if to say, you know, this is once a week I've got to meet with my mates. <laughs> Some guy comes along, whacks me on the head, and you pay for the privilege of this. <laughs> anyway, it's now the third week, and I sense a change in my dog. We go along there, and this trainer knows I've got a gentle dog. So he comes along with his stick lifted five yards from there. Nero's up on his engine, got him on the floor, got him by the throat. Boy, he was out proud. <laughs> My dog was now a killer. <laughs> I went home that afternoon and told my wife I was so proud. And we were working in the garden that afternoon, watering the garden, and Nero does a number two in front of the patio. My wife does what she always does, naughty dog! <laughs> well, when we returned from the doctor once again, 